What's up, Jewel? So, as y'all heard, the great Akira Toriyama had passed away on March 1st. Um, you know, I've been seeing posts, you know, new articles, videos of basically the whole anime community, not just in Dragon Ball community, but you know, well, I'm talking about the One Piece, Naruto. All right. Hell, even like showing, not even showing, like freaking, like on subreddit we got Kingen, the Baki, you know, shit that I follow on 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 Reddit, and basically everybody is more the laws of the great man, Guitar Mirror, because it, yo, without him, bro, this wouldn't be, this wouldn't been possible. Everything would, this wouldn't been possible. The anime wouldn't be possible, manga would be possible because, like, this man is what really pushed, you know, anime and manga to everybody in the world. And everybody started with Dragon Ball. Alright, I remember as a kid, I started with Dragon Ball Z. Alright, I remember, you know, watching Goku go Super Saiyan. Then I saw Gohan. And then, obviously, for me, I, what I remember most of Dragon Ball Z was. Really was the Blue Saga. That mark that me to me as a kid was my favorite arc. And to this day, it's still my favorite arc. That and that really got me, you know, not just into anime and manga, but also in life too. You know, with Dragon Ball, is all about self improvement, training hard to get stronger, and a little bit about me. You guys don't know that I, I'm, I'm actually like you know, I'm like a, a, a MMA fighter, not. Nah, professionally yet but you know I'm working my way up there and really Dragon Ball is what pushed me to you know, become you know want to get good want to get better and then slowly over life I started getting to so many other things that like is Baki, King and what else man like how you know e -book? that it wasn't for Dragon Ball I could get into like all these other things I got into that made me what I'm trying to do today in my life. Like, without Dragon Ball, I can, I never had I would never have that urge to become strong of not being wanting to get strong, and get better. You know what I mean? Like, literally just fight to improve and be just known as the best. As just you know what I mean? It, it just really hurts how like we lost the character and not only that, you know it's crazy because. I lost also well, not me but we also lost the great you know um berserk arthur um oh fuck I, I have it very far because right now it's it, it just hard to it's just hard to um process this you know I everybody been you know talking about how how really is he everybody grieving and hard for me to think that it's real Honestly, I still can't believe like this is real. This is for real. Like I'm not. I I I I just don't know how I feel about this. It's like a mixed emotion. I won't, I won't be sad. I won't be sad, but it's like I can't be sad because part of me don't want to believe it. It's just, it's just hard for me to to accept it. It's the same way how I didn't accept when I heard um you know not nah, I remember. Katana Miura, all the Berserk, he also had influence in my life too, and many others, you know what I mean? I, I know one particular YouTuber, I don't know personally, but you know what I mean? This this is a guy who, who I, I found while you know looking at Berserk video, videos called The Mask Man, and I watched, and I love his videos on Berserk because you can tell this guy really has such an influence on. Uh, you know, Berserk has his influence on him, and that, and that's really what it is. Like you know, what I mean, like without these, without these, you know, 
mangas and you know the animes that were created by these by these amazing people too it would have been po it would impossible for so many people's lives to be influenced and to be at where they are right now without these people it's the end of the career of Yu-Gi-Oh literally the man died because he he would try to save someone he tried to save someone's life you know and, and he also played a child in my life too I mean like four kids and on what we got GX like it's hard to, very hard to process on how like people that influence your life who are, are gone now and just I want to say is really I'm, I'm gonna miss Guitar Miura because you know I mean just him now gone and I just want his work to be not be tarnished not be used as a cash grab because you, you, you know how the companies are, and, and I don't know about toy. Maybe, maybe they won't do it by like that, or bad die, or whoever have rights to his work. I just want his project work that was being currently worked on to be done, finished. If you have any projects, opening notes of how you want to do things, finish them off. Don't do anything crazy with them. Just please finish his work, and that's it this man legacy of what he created because it's not it's not a small thing and it, it's not a small thing dragon ball is what paved the way to so many of people to anime manga and outside of that influenced them too in life you hear stories about how like you know dragon ball influenced people like Jack's play on YouTube, and I admire them. Like this kid I heard who got attacked by a freaking horde of bees, and literally he said, "Cause he defended himself, tried to survive because he was inspired by character like Vegeta to push through." And it, it just like little shit like that, it just what really, really, really what what shows that that what it does, that what these medias and the creators do to make. Anime, manga, and art for media to inspire people to do things. Amazing. Just like that. That's all I want to say is thank you, Akira Toriyama, for, for what you've done, for bringing us Dragon Ball. And, you know, without you, I'm pretty sure no one will, will be, the, be where they're at without you. Until we meet again. Again, thank you for everything.